Hello, Grade 11s. In this lesson, we will look at how to determine the equation of an exponential graph. To do this, we must know the standard equation of the exponential graph. The equation is y is equal to a times b to the power of x plus p plus q. a determines the position of the graph relative to the horizontal asymptote. b determines the curve of the function. By looking at the value of a and b together, we can see whether the graph is an increasing or decreasing function. p is the horizontal shift and q is the vertical shift. To find the equation of an exponential graph, we are either given the horizontal asymptote or we are given enough information to determine it. We will also be given points which lie on the graph. The horizontal asymptote will be substituted for q. The remaining unknowns can be solved by substituting the values of the given coordinates into the x and y. Let us do an example. This exponential function has the equation f of x is equal to 3 to the power of x plus p plus q with a horizontal asymptote of y equal to 1 and point a, 1, 2. Determine the equation of the graph. y is equal to 1 is the horizontal asymptote. So we can substitute q with 1. We can use the coordinates of a to substitute into x and y in the equation. This leaves us with p as the only unknown value. To begin solving for p, we substitute y with the value of 2 and x with 1. Simplified, this gives us 1 equals 3 to the power of 1 plus p. To solve for p, we need to have the same base. 1 can be rewritten as 3 to the power of 0, so we rewrite the equation as 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 3 to the power of 1 plus p. We equate the exponents to each other, which gives us 0 equals 1 plus p p is equal to negative 1. Therefore, the equation of this graph is f of x is equal to 3 to the power of x minus 1 plus 1. Try to determine the next equation on your own. Determine the equation of g of x on this graph. g of x is equal to negative 2 times b to the power of x minus 2 plus Q. The value of both a and p are given, and they are both equal to negative 2. We still need to determine the value of b and q. We can see that the asymptote is y is equal to 3. This means that q has a value of 3. Now we need to substitute in all our known variables and solve for the unknown value of b. Let's substitute the point 0, 3 into the equation. This gives us 0 is equal to negative 2 times b to the power of 3 minus 2 plus 3. Now we simplify. Negative 3 equals negative 2 times b to the power of 1. Once simplified, b is equal to 3 over 2. This means that g of x is equal to negative 2 times 3 over 2 to the power of x minus 2 plus 3. Try the task video at the end of this series to become more comfortable with determining the equation of exponential graphs. Also, visit our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn for more information. Thank you for joining us Grade 11s. Goodbye.